hello i'm jedi dragoon or jennifer whichever you want to call me um i'm back in the greenhouse today it's still hot in here but i got the door kind of shut because it helps keep out some of the noise um today i'm going to be showing you how i uh start my cucumbers and melons inside if you hear any banging that's my husband in the garage doing something i guess you could call this my she shed and that's his man cave um but yeah, so I've been busy. I'm going to show you what I'm going to be um, seed starting. Um, I'm doing two varieties of cucumbers. They're going to be in the greenhouse here, so this is going to be their permanent home. Um, I'm going to be growing these straight eights, which is my husband's favorite variety. Um, they're just an all-American regular old cucumber. And then I'm going to be growing most people call them English cucumbers, but they're actually, I believe they're more similar to the Japanese, so I'm growing some Japanese cucumbers for myself. Um, and these are called Japanese long. Um, I like them because they're uh, thin or skin and all that, and I just prefer them, so I'm going to try to grow some of these. And the other thing, and the melon I'm going to grow is this Jenny Lind. It only gets one to two pounds, which we have a short growing season here. So this matures in, uh, where's the, yeah, it doesn't tell you how many days, but it's a short maturing variety since it's smaller fruit. It's also going to be in here in the greenhouse. Uh, I'll show you like once they start growing, cause if you can kind of see behind me here where the wall is, they will grow up and over and it gets wild in here so I did it last year the only problem was I went on vacation so they didn't get watered like they should um, and the table shouldn't bounce today because I'm on I have you on a different table than the other day this one's full now here I can show you what all I did yesterday oh, let me move this but yeah those are all my seeds I've started uh, and transplanted and all that so that is what I got in my greenhouse right now. So, I am using this little four pack. Um, if you're wondering where I got this, um, pretty much I bought some plants from a local greenhouse, took them out, and reused it. All I got in here is my Jiffy seed starting mix that I really like. It's cheap and it works good. So, in my book, that's a win win. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to start them these because they're kind of wide and deep. Um, they, once they get up, get two leaves and stuff, I'll just transplant them right into their buckets they're going in. Um, I would just start them in their buckets, but I'm just doing this because I don't have the dirt yet and all that. So, And pretty much all you do is find your scissors, which you have misplaced if you're like me. Um, cut off the package. I'm just going to put one seed for these because the germination rate's pretty good and I don't need that many cucumbers. You can't prick them out and transplant them. So I'm just going to do one. If one doesn't sprout, I'll just toss another one in. So I poked a little hole. Let me, those will be fine. Right? Okay. So I got a hole here. I'm just going to drop the seed in if you can see, and then just cover it up with dirt and let me get these other ones in here. Toss these extra seeds back in here because I'm only doing two of each variety. We don't need that many cucumbers. We don't can them because I have found out I'm not that big of a fan of can cube of homemade cube, homemade pickles. So why can them and grow like 500? And size his mom will be giving us cucumbers in the summer. She, for some reason, feels the need as one person to grow 50. And make make sure you make a planting tag so you remember what you planted. Because, as you saw with my onions, I did not label. I did not label my cabbages. I have no idea which ones they are. I went back to check to see if I had a video on what they were. I only did onion seeds. I only started onion seeds for you guys. So, yeah, I have I have to go through my seeds and see which package is open. 
Yeah. All I know is I think it's a variety that was good for sauerkraut. <laughs> I'll show you how to make my sauerkraut, hopefully, in the fall or midsummer, early summer. Cabbages mature early. Anyway, so next variety, straight eight. And I guess you could call me a prepper with all the canning and stuff I do, but I just really like to have the stuff on hand for year round. Um, and all that, so that's why I do that. I just grow stuff for that, and if I don't, like onions you can keep a lot of, garlic, potatoes, you can can potatoes, we've done that before. Just make sure you have all the same variety because if you can multiple varieties, it doesn't always work. Because um, some of them will get mushy, some will be too hard. It's just better if you make sure you keep the variety separate because they have different cooking times than that. So anyway, that one, that straight eight is planted. I'll just make out a tag real quick. I know this is really interesting watching me make out um, uh, tags for cucumbers. All right, so those two are labeled, ready to go. And move these because if you, I'm going to water these, the top of these real quick. If you get the seed packets wet, wipe them off really quickly and they won't soak through. Um, but if they do soak through and the seeds get wet, plant the seeds. But anyway, I have this sprayer. I love this thing. You can use a watering can or whatever, but I like this because it does a finer mist. Um, but my son found this for me last night, which I was very grateful. And I made sure he hadn't lost the uh, little nozzle for it after I made sure of that. We were all good. He did not get in trouble. He was happy. So yes, I got this watered. It'll soak in in a minute. Um, I'm going to put these over in one of my watering trays. And by tomorrow, they should be soaked up nice and good. Now on to melons. Um, I just have these lapses. <clears throat> I'm going to start four melons. I don't really need them, but my mother-in-law likes to have melons and I might take some to my parents. So I might do two melons in the greenhouse and two for my parents. Uh, my mother-in-law, I'll just get her a package of cantaloupe seeds because, yeah. I also need to get some Minnesota midgets because the thing about this melon is the cantaloupe but I got to read in the back and it has light green skin like a honeydew, so this should be interesting. Um, you get to see me fill this this time and search for my measuring cup. And if anybody's wondering, this is just a one cup measuring cup. Uh, I bought some measuring cups and measuring spoons for out in the garden and greenhouse, so I wouldn't use them for cooking. But this is pretty simple. You just fill them up till they're full. And today I decided I'd go to your garden center. And I remembered why I don't go to your garden center too often. Because I spend way too much money. I bought dahlias. I bought hostas. I bought bleeding heart plants. I bought pansies and snapdragons. And all the stuff I didn't get started. And I also bought some jalapeno plants. Which I didn't get started. But I needed. So, sorry, I was trying to figure out what the neighbors are doing, or some guy is doing. I have no idea. It's been a weird couple days. But anyway, so I went to the garden center. I bought me a bunch of stuff I did not need. Well, I need it because I have a flower bed that's part shade, so I gotta get some flowers started that'll grow good there. Hmm. That seed has something on it, if you can see that. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Uh, just won't plant that one. Just be on the safe side. Anyway, so you just do like the cucumbers, you toss them in here. And like I said, I'll take some to my parents because. They will love having some melons. 
and they live in northern Kentucky, like near Cincinnati, so they have a little warmer climate than I do. Not much, just a little. So, once again, label this Jenny Lind. And I'll put melon because otherwise I might not remember, but I think I will. Famous last words. So, that is done. See how easy that is? The worst part about seed starting is it's just tedious, especially if you grow like a whole bunch of plants like I do. Because I was figuring up how many tomato plants I have started and how many I transplanted and all that. I have 84. That's not including six for my parents. And I'll probably give six of the 84 to my mother-in-law. Um, so that she can have some. Plus, I have um, tomato seedlings popping up outside, which I keep hoping to do a video on that. I haven't yet, but I keep hoping to. So, anyway, those are all ready to go. They'll sit here, soak up, and hopefully we'll get some nice plants. And that's how you start cucumbers, squash. Um, I may be starting some zucchini in that. And with zucchini, you only need like one plant, maybe two, if you really eat it heavy, which we don't. But yeah, so I might be starting some of those. I don't know. We will see. Uh, or I might just start some for my mother-in-law and have her give me the excess that she's been known to do several times. My husband hates squash. So, <laughs> um, but we have a couple recipes we're trying on our kids that have sneak veggies in. But anyway, that's how you start cucumbers and melons. Thank you for watching this. Sorry about the ADD moments where I, uh, well, ADHD, I probably have both, but hey, um, sorry for, uh, rambling sometimes, but I do that. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.